and it has been said before that with the arrival of the autumn and the uh, la rentrée of, uh, of everyone, not only at school but at work, uh, there will be a risk of increasing of cases and contagiosities. Quebec's public health director says new COVID-19 infections and hospitalizations are on the rise in the province and forecasts show it's expected to continue to increase over the next few weeks. In response, the province is making the flu vaccine available as of October 5th, so those most vulnerable can be protected against both viruses. But Dr. Luc Boileau adds that it's too early to declare that the province has entered an eighth wave. Will it be a new wave, a big wave? We'll have to wait a couple of days or weeks to see how it goes on. But of course, uh, with that in mind, even though there might be a raise for a few weeks, we are not expecting, even with that, to add some public health measures. The latest data shows Quebec with eight COVID deaths, 16,770 virus-related fatalities total, hospitalizations up by 44 patients, 1,663 in all, and 34 in ICU stable compared to the previous day. Flu vaccination is geared toward reducing complication and, and for those at high risk. So it's mainly those age 75 and above, but it's offered 60 and above, and also those with medical underlying disease, such as lung issue, cardiac problems, etc. It's also offered for healthcare workers, for pregnant women, and for children, and also for those who live with immunocompromised people. About one in five Quebecers is considered adequately vaccinated, meaning that they had their last dose after five months or in the last three months since they had COVID. Dr. Boileau addressing vaccination fatigue, but says there's been a 50% increase in the at-risk population getting a new dose in recent weeks. We do understand that there's a certain number of people that are uh, questioning the vaccination. In fact, uh, some of them have been vaccinated and still get the infection, but they will realize that they are not getting an infection that will be uh, transformed in a very bad disease or even uh, death. So this is what we would like to prevent, hospitalization and also the wearing of the mask to be uh, very careful with others uh, not to transmit the, the, the COVID if we do have it and in particular for persons that are at risk to develop a, a more uh, difficult issue. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.